everyone, and welcome back to Lullaby Gardens, the demo version for an adorable little game that has now been successfully kickstarted by Die Die Studios. I'm very, very excited to see where they end up going. The game is due out next year, and I'm here with a really, really silly story. So when I got the demo, I thought it was going to be just a very simple demo to give you a teensy tiny taste of the world. You'd be able to run around, kind of visit with everybody. That's exactly what I did for the first couple episodes. I thought, oh, isn't this so cute? But I didn't really think that you'd be able to participate in a lot of the full game mechanics, like catching bugs and growing plants and selling things in your shop. And then the awesome creator of Die Die Studios and the awesome creator of uh, Lullaby Gardens contacted me and let me know there is actually a way to save when you are in the demo by going into my little house over here and sleeping in the bed at night. And then I glanced over at my good friend Eros's channel and she revealed to me you can actually seriously play the game. You can start planting crops and filling your field full of crops that you can grow. You can go and sell things in your shop. You can even bring home some chickens. And I'm so in love with that. So Eros, who is super awesome. So if you guys love animal related stuff, you definitely need to check her out. She already has gotten so much further because she realized that you could actually do stuff with the demo and I totally didn't. So I'm pretty envious about that. It is still early development, but I thought we'd go ahead and have a little bit of fun by filling up one of our fields at least full of flowers and filling up that field full of chickens before we call it um we call it quits with the demo and just sit in excitement and anticipation waiting for the game to come out next year they've already done so many new model developments on the twitter you can go to the developers twitter and you can see how they're like upgrading the models for the different plants and i don't know maybe it's just like the new era of video games but i just find it so fun and so relaxing. Um, well, relaxing is the wrong word. I find it really fun and rewarding. That's what it is. Really rewarding to be able to be on the ground with the game developers as they're developing their games. I love following the Stardew Valley t Twitter. I love following the Twitter for Slime Rancher. And there's just something about seeing the behind the scenes and seeing the hard work and seeing it all add up over time that really makes me love being able to watch a game come to life. So now I get to do that with this game and I'm really excited, but I want to go ahead and see what it's like to catch some bugs because Eero showed me there is actually a way to catch bugs. And I think if I can figure out, there's my inventory. I knew there was inventory somewhere. So it looks like you'll be able to have relationships with the livestock, um, your villagers, the pets. That's That I'm really looking forward to. We've got some inventory. You can buy slots for different amounts of money. You can delete items if you need to. Maybe I'll end up deleting all of these weeds. I don't really need the weeds. There we go. Let me go ahead and clean up the rest of the field. So it's nice and tidy. I'll bet you can do stuff with all of, oh, I missed some of the weeds. Okay, we'll go pick them. And then we're gonna go into town and we are gonna buy some flowers and maybe even buy a chicken. And we're going to search for bugs to catch. I feel so silly. I really thought it was just like a walk around demo and there was so much more to it. So we're gonna enjoy this so much more. Apparently, I saw Eros found a bunch of bugs just like scuttling around in her big field. So maybe what I need to do, I'm gonna get my bug net out just in case. Make sure I have it on me, ready to catch something at a moment's notice. But I think I just saw her like wandering around over here and then she stumbled on a bunch of bugs and I was so envious because I hadn't seen any bugs. So we'll see if we find any bugs, but I wanna go get chickens. So we're gonna try to bring home some chickens. We're gonna see if we have enough to do that. Um, I wonder if I can sell the lumber for now. And we're gonna go get some seeds so that we can plant some flowers. And we're definitely gonna give this a, a proper go now that I know there's actually chickens that I can bring home. So this is gonna be really fun. Oh, and this is so pretty. I love this. And there's going to be areas to explore, monsters to fight. Oh yeah, and the mines! You can actually go to the mines! So we're going to like dabble in a little bit of everything if I can get my hands on it. I wish there I could run a little bit. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the flowers. All right, up we go. And around. And then there's the graves again. So I don't think you can fish just yet. Daisy and Aster, my love for you can only grow. And yeah, there's more of the villagers. There's supposed to be, 
I think I already mentioned there's about a grand total of 10 bachelors and bachelorettes all together. I think, I'm not sure if that means like there's five girls, five boys, or if there's like 10 of each. I'm pretty sure it's like five and five. Wait, can you get a horse? I need to talk to people here. I don't think you can buy a horse just yet. That would be, that would be a little bit too over the top amazing. And I still have no idea about how the adorable piglets are actually able to contribute to your farm. So let me go ahead and talk to Dominic again. Yeah, and he's just, he's just gonna chit chat to us a little bit. I think his little sister is getting ready. Jenny is getting ready to like run away. All right, let's see. Hey stranger, I'm Jenny. It's good you arrived today or you might never have met me. I'll be leaving town soon. I'm going to live far, far away from here, no matter what Dominic says. All right, and then Dominic is like butting in over here and he, he wants to see, uh, uh, there we go. He wants to see what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and dock back. Okay, oh no, and now I've whipped out my ax for some reason. Oh no, what have I done? <gasps> I've like totally messed everything up. That's so silly. What have I done? Ew, no. Well, the chat is like stuck there, so we're just gonna have to leave it. Dominic, am I gonna be staring at your face all day? I may be staring at his face all day. I'm just gonna leave it for a second and we'll come over and buy some seeds so that hopefully I can get some things planted in my yard. There's a little old lady. Did I talk with her? I'm pretty sure I talked with her before. So, uh, Al Aldea. Why, hello, sweetheart. It's quite pleasant to see a young one like you around town. You can call me Adele. Ad Adele? Ad Aldia? Aldia, I think. If you bring me some tea, I'll happily share some of the town's story with you. Oh, that's so nice of her. And now I'm stuck looking at her. That's okay. Oh, and that's Muddy Girl. I really love her because she's got all of the really awesome uh, seeds that we need. And I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally her. I can totally identify with her on a very deep level. She's got mud all over her. She's got a basket full of delicious looking produce. And she's got tons of flower seeds. Oh, this is what I wanted. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to try buying some of the flower seeds. I wonder if there's going to be seasons. That's a good question. That's a question worth asking. So I might even tweet that later. Like, are there going to be seasons that you can expect? So let's see. We have white roses. Ooh, those sound really fancy. So white roses. And then we've got tulips, daisies. I think the little green leaf and the number represent like the number of days it would take to grow these. There's turnip seeds. There's strawberry seeds. Those sound really fun. All right, let's get in like maybe four, six strawberry seeds. And then I want to plant daisies in between the strawberries. So I'm going to get some daisy seeds, maybe eight of those that I can plant on either side. And then maybe some tulips. Getting some tulips lined up behind them would be fun. So there's, let's see. And then maybe some white roses because white roses sound really pretty. They're very expensive. I'm spending a lot of money. Ooh, but there's purple tulips. I think I want purple tulips more than roses. Those, those sound gorgeous. All right, we'll go ahead and get those. And then there's potatoes. Then there's a whole bunch of other daisies, corn, carrot, blueberry. Oh, that sounds so cute. I want to get some blueberry seeds lined up back there too. Oh, I'm spending all my money. I think it's worth it though. I think it's worth it. So we're going to go ahead and buy all of these. And now my inventory is totally stuffed full. So I'm going to run home and then I'm going to sleep so that hopefully uh, we save. And that way I don't have the character portraits. Remember, this is a demo. So of course, there's going to be funny little glitches that pop up now and then. But I want to save so we don't have the character portraits just kind of lingering on the screen. And then we'll come back and plant things. I still like this guy's hat. Hello, Alfred. All right, and we'll talk to him for a second. That's my shop behind him. I hope I can find some things to sell in the shop pretty soon. And I think he's offering the stuff at the same price, just like he offers you random stuff and decent poop, which still kind of cracks me up a little bit. So I want to go mining. Uh, and actually, let's go ahead and shop. I want to grab a bee. I have just enough money that I can grab a bee from him. So I will see you guys back at the house in just a moment. There we go. All right, so we are back at home. I had to restart the game to get this done, but don't worry, we're back and I managed to get all of the awesome seeds that we had before. We have blueberry, strawberry, daisies, white daisies, I might mention, and some wonderful tulips. And you know, this probably won't be something that you see in the game, but I always dream about these kinds of farming games allowing me to make flower bouquets out of the different flowers that I can put together, that then I can turn around and sell those bouquets instead of just having to sell the 
individual flowers. So ah, uh, there's just one of my, my random Siri dreams. But we're gonna go ahead and clear this field and we are gonna try to get some of these seeds planted so we can see how that works. And we're also going to look for some bugs and hopefully we can do some mining pretty soon too and sell some of our produce and some of the other things at our shop and get enough money since we only have $10 left to fill this field full of hens. That would just be so amazing. And we're gonna start by putting away this little bee. So we're gonna place the bee into the beehive. Oh wow, you can put 20 bees in here at once? I wonder how quick they, they start producing. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that bee house. That'll be really fun to see how quickly we can start getting some bees out of there. And then let's come over here and we'll kind of clear out what we can. Hopefully our tools are strong enough to be able to clear away the bigger logs and the bigger rocks. And I have to pick all of the weeds all over again. Geez, this this field, it just really, it is constantly growing weeds. You, you feel like you just ended up clearing it away. And the next second, the next thing you know, they're just all back again. Hmm. All right, we'll clear these rocks away. This will be fun to see what everything looks like. I really love, oh, look at the tools. The tools are actually having some effects go down so there's some logs nice go ahead and knock this down and this trunk oh dear i think it's going to use up all of my energy to cut down this trunk so i'm going to be very very careful let me break this rock very carefully i hope you don't pass out that would be a little bit inconvenient for me and then we're going to hoe the ground somewhat so if i've got this out can i can i how do i plant how do i plant things do I need to water it? Do I need to, oh, there we go. I need to like look straight down. Okay, so if I wanna come right here, all right, that's, this can be done. I have to be really careful with my energy though. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough energy to be able to line this with blueberries. So I'm gonna plant a blueberry seed there. It's adorable. I'm gonna water the blueberry seed. And I think that's all the energy I have. So I'm gonna very, very carefully put more blueberry seeds down. And another one. And now hopefully, am I gonna pass out? I don't have any more energy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna run over and check the field for bugs. No bugs just yet. I'm really envious. Eros had lots of bugs pop up. So maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place. And we're gonna come over here and enter our house. And if we go to sleep, oh, look at this. It's just like when you go uh, to bed in Rune Factory, you get the game saved and you also end up having all of your totals show up. So that's pretty nifty. All right, and now I'm full of energy again. Nice, all right, so that shouldn't be too hard to be able to go through and take care of everything. <gasps> look at our little blueberry. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. So our little blueberry is doing well. I'm gonna make sure I water all of these guys. And then we'll come over. Can I break this rock? I think the rock may break my spirit before it. Oh, there it goes. And the rock is now broken. And then I'm gonna come through. All right, let's come over here. And do, 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 do. next I'm going to, let's see, till the ground. And then I wanna try to line up the strawberries and I wanna try to line up the daisies so that they look nice together. And then let's see, maybe I'll put strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. Maybe I'll put the blueberries on either side. Hmm, I gotta think about this really quickly. So let me see. And then I've got tulips too. So I'm gonna put the blueberries to the sides like this because I like just kind of making big, big organic gardens that are f pretty funny and just mixed together. And then we're gonna get our first harvest of plants today. That's my, or not like today's episode, if not today, today, because I'm about out of energy and the plants won't exactly grow like overnight like that. And then let's see, I've got the tulips still. Oh, I forgot I had so many daisies. So, and I drag them like this, gotcha. What's this? We found some coal while I was destroying the boulders. That is so cool. All right, and then let's see. I wanna plant these strawberries. So I could plant the strawberries right over here. And then back here, hmm, or I could plant the strawberries, like strawberry, 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 strawberry. There would be five strawberries though. So I think I'm gonna plant the strawberries right here. And there we go. Am I almost out of energy? Not quite, I've still got enough. So this will be fun to see how the animations and how the models change. 
the I mentioned it last time, but in an interview, the creator of the game said that she hopes to have about 60 hours of gameplay, 60 plus hours of gameplay before people really start hitting the end game. And I think that just offers so much potential for exploration, so much potential for just enjoying all sorts of different discoveries. I'll put the daisies up front. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and water it really quickly. And then we're gonna go to bed because I'm out of energy. And we'll have to clear a little corner of the field later and also check in on my bee and see how my bee is doing but I want to see if we can try to get our first harvest today so we'll run this way and then once we harvest and figure that part out go ahead and go to sleep and then back out and then gotta water them again so we'll run all the way over here and I can put some flowers just like mix in <gasps> there's a bug you guys it's a bug it's just a bug out in my field oh my gosh I'm there's bugs everywhere oh I'm so excited look Look, I bet having plants on your farm actually makes it so that you have bugs here. There's a bee, I got a bee that I can add into my little bee house. Oh, this is so awesome. I wanna fill the entire field full of plants. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this bee, that's the most adorable bee I've ever seen. I love the idea of catching the bees. Can I get it? Ah, can I, come on, get in my little net. Get in my little net bee. I don't think I can catch it. Not this particular one. Wait, what was that? <gasps> There's another beetle! I think having plants on my farm makes it so you actually have some bugs. Oh, this is the best. I caught a little beetle over here. That's so cool. I love that. Being able just to stumble on little little bugs running around your farm. We'll have to go and sell those bugs later. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. I hope you can get like a little bug collecting um, award like you can in Animal Crossing. Actually, that would be really, really fun. All right, let's go ahead and water these crops. So we've got our little blueberries, got our strawberries, and we're gonna make sure that they're all watered and taken care of today. And then, oh, I can't believe we found some bugs. That's just so much fun. We'll water our little flowers back here. Let's see, come on. There's the daisy. There's the strawberry, there's the other daisy. Whoops, I missed a strawberry. And then, let's see, I might line up the tulips at the back or I might just start sprinkling the plants around randomly. That is so much fun, you guys. I can't believe we just found some bugs. So I'm gonna clear a little bit more of the field and maybe get some more of the, um, can I get this trunk cleared out of the way? And then maybe get some more of the plants grown a little bit more. All right, there's that. And then next time, we'll see if we can get our first harvest. We'll do some more bug collecting. Oh, and I just found something in the rock. And we'll have to do one of my favorite things in all of these kinds of games, which is mining. So we're gonna have to go and do a little bit of mining in the mines and see if we can find some treasures that we can take back over to our wonderful shop and we'll start trying to sell stuff in the shop. So this is really fun, you guys. I can't wait to see what the adorable plants turn into and what other bugs we can end up finding. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.